Hello, my name is Mahnoor Bari, digital reporter at Construction Week. Today, I have the privilege of hosting Avinash Pai, who is Group Marketing Manager at Turaco. Turaco is a leader in environmentally friendly finishing materials, performance products, and systems for the construction industry. At Turaco, Avinash is responsible for driving global marketing strategies with seamless local adaptation. With a focus on driving innovation, Avinash has continuously explored new business opportunities, identified product gaps, and spearheaded Turaco's innovation process. Part of the global management team, he plays a vital role in shaping Turaco's sustainability strategy. Today, he's here to talk about Turaco's sustainability strategy and innovation. Thank you for coming in today, Avinash. We're so glad to have you today. Thank you for having me. Today, my first question to you is, uh, sustainability is becoming ever more important for all industries. How is it uh, important for construction? I would say sustainability as a discipline is vital for the construction industry. This industry alone is responsible for almost 40% of CO2 emissions, globally speaking. With the climate change intensifying, it has become more crucial for an industry being such a large contributor to emissions to take a stand and have active initiatives when it comes to sustainability. The Middle East, as we all know, faces extreme heat and water scarcity in a lot of countries. Yes. So this has become crucial for companies in construction to actively work towards sustainability uh, initiatives for better future urban development. Um, UAE and Saudi, I would uh, like to highlight, have really bold visions when it comes to sustainability, like the Dubai 2030 vision, um, the net zero carbon cities like mm -hmm. the Neom project in Saudi. These are really, um, really good initiatives, I would say, towards the sustainability vision. And these initiatives comply with the sustainability vision. Now, as I mentioned earlier, as a major contributor to emissions, the industry should take um, an active role, mm -hmm. a more active role in this. And companies who operate in this industry have a vital role to play in this regard. This is not just an environmental statement, in my opinion. This could be a really good business growth strategy. Mm -hmm. Yep. So by embracing comprehensive roadmaps, companies in construction can remain relevant in this rapidly evolving landscape where sustainability now has become crucial to success. It's very interesting that you said that uh, sustainability can be a successful growth plan as well. Can you tell us more about Taraco's commitment to sustainability and any key milestones that have been achieved so far? Sustainability, I would say, is deeply rooted in uh, Taraco's company values as well as its brand purpose. Our sustainability strategy is based on three main pillars. Mm -hmm. Net zero emissions from products, okay. minimization of operational impact, mm -hmm. and empowering communities. Mm -hmm. So these are the three main pillars. We aim to achieve net zero emissions from products, mainly through sustainable innovations. Our eco-life range of products are specifically engineered for near zero emissions, mm -hmm or ultra low emissions. We plan to innovate in this direction and keep going further and build a sustainability uh, focused innovation pipeline. Operationally speaking, we have started phasing in recycled packaging for all our products. So in Europe, 100% of our packaging is made of recycled materials. So these are plastic bottles? These are predominantly pails but we also use recycled materials for coverings and other storage materials. So this is important for us. And like I said, 100% of our packaging uh, materials in Europe region are now made of uh, recycled uh, materials. In uh, Egypt, we have achieved 50%. We plan on doing this for all our business units worldwide and we're actively focused on um, this direction. You also mentioned a third pillar, which is empowering communities. Can you talk a bit more about that? Yes. We would like to go beyond products and operations. Mm -hmm. And that is why the third pillar is about empowering people and communities. We intend to work with NGOs who take up 
reforestation and agroforestry initiatives um, in various countries. These initiatives are about supporting underprivileged communities in various countries for economic development on a local level, mm -hmm. as well as have a positive environmental impact with CO2 displacement. We believe these three pillars uh, form a comprehensive roadmap for us that very well integrates sustainability with our core business. So my next question for you is, uh, could you talk a bit more about the Ecolife range of products that you mentioned and how they fit into this roadmap? Terraco's Ecolife range, I would say, is our signature range of products, which are specifically engineered to minimize environmental impact. This, I would say, represents our commitment to sustainability from a product innovations perspective. Um, Handicoat, our range of levels, levelers and fillers, has near zero emissions, and this is one of our biggest brands uh, worldwide. Uh, FlexiPave, our range of sports flooring solutions, is made of 50% recycled rubber tires. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Uh, Adagrip, our range of resin-bound landscaping solutions, mm -hmm. Ha uses recycled stones in its uh, system. Um, we have another range of acoustic solutions called Ambient, mm -hmm. which has 80% recycled glass okay. in its installation. So we believe innovations like these drive circularity and also reduce waste for the environment. That's so fascinating, the circularity of reusable materials that you mentioned. Uh, can you talk a bit more about how uh, Terraco's EIFS solutions promote energy efficiency in buildings and how does this benefit the wider community? EIFS stands for Exterior Insulation Finishing Systems. EIFS, I would say, are one of Terraco's core specialties in terms of uh, uh, product offering and solution offering. Mm -hmm. EIFS greatly enhances energy efficiency of any building if installed properly. EIFS involves a combination of insulation material, construction adhesives, and decorative textured coatings, all applied as a single singular system on the exterior facades of buildings. This greatly enhances thermal performance by reducing heat gain and thereby reducing the load on air conditioning requirements in buildings. Uh, we have empirical data and we have studies that prove buildings with properly installed EIFS can consume up to 50% less energy for air conditioning and other purposes. In Saudi, uh, especially uh, if you look at the data for last year, um, about 270 million tons of CO2 mm -hmm. emissions were recorded just coming out of the electricity and heating sector. Amazing. Yeah, That's... It, it is massive. This is two times higher than the transportation and industrial sectors. That is how big it is. Now, majority of this 270 million comes from the subsector of residential. Now, the residential sector, subsector, which consumes majority of electricity, mm -hmm. is usually consumed from air conditioning itself. Mm -hmm. So imagine the kind of impact a regulation of good thermal efficiency systems could have on the CO2 emissions of a country. The numbers could change drastically if it is properly regulated and properly installed. So I would say our solutions really support regional net zero efforts and they really help in driving the shift from conventional construction towards green construction. So with better insulation comes better energy efficiency is what you're saying? That's correct. So Coming on from that, um, what are Jiraco's goals for the future when it comes to sustainability and how will you further embed it within operations and product innovation? I would say Jiraco's vision is to be a sustainability vanguard for the construction industry. We would like to set science-based targets mm -hmm. when it comes to emission reduction and minimizing operational impact. On top of that, we aim to roll out ultra low or zero emission products mm -hmm. and we plan on building this green innovations pipeline as we go along. Internally, we train our teams, we train our partners about carbon literacy and 
we are in the process of refining our KPIs when it comes to tracking progress of emission reduction and CO2 displacement. Um, as I mentioned, the green innovation pipeline is very important for us and we collaborate cross-functionally and we closely collaborate with our global technical center to build this pipeline of green innovation products as we go along into the future. So you mentioned R&D initiatives for a greener future. Can you talk a bit more about how Terraqua is making products more sustainable through innovation? Sure. We work closely with our customers to understand customer insights and bring products which are more aligned to their insights. We educate customers and we educate regulators and other stakeholders across the value chain so that they understand the benefits of using sustainable innovations. Can you give us an example of that where you had to educate a stakeholder and how that went? A good example I would say would be something that happened in Korea many years ago. In Korea, the market for levelers, fillers, was very much driven by cementitious based technologies. Mm -hmm. Now these are very conventional technologies. Terraco stepped in and innovated a range of acrylic ready mix levelers and fillers. This was completely new to the market. Mm -hmm. We worked closely with customers, we trained them, we educated them about the benefits of using acrylic ready mix technologies. Now, acrylic ready mix fillers have up to 70% less emissions as compared to other conventional technologies. Mm -hmm. So it was good for the health of our customers, it was good for the environment, mm -hmm. and we actively worked towards educating all the stakeholders in the value chain. Today, acrylic fillers and levelers in Korea have become mainstream. Almost every brand who operates in this segment have acrylic technologies introduced. So we could very clearly see that today, uh, the customer preference in Korea has shifted from conventional technologies towards more modern technologies, which are more sustainable in mm -hmm. nature. And all thanks to Terako. <laughs> I would say so, yes. On top of this, in terms of uh, product innovations, in addition to introducing new products or new technologies in the market, we are continuously on the lookout to replace raw materials of our existing products mm -hmm. with sustainable alternatives. Okay. So our global technical center continuously run product audits. They look at the formulation of each of our existing products and if a raw material with a sustainable alternative becomes available, they make that replacement without compromising on quality whatsoever. So these are some ways how Terraco innovates in the sustainable direction. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Avinash, today, Tarako's journey of sustainable innovation and research. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk about an important aspect of the construction industry. And I really hope more companies in construction uh, build a vision of sustainability as they go. Hopefully you do. Thank you. Thank you.